Hello and welcome to another edition of our Panther Weekly Update. This time for the week of October 7th. Let's get started. All right, so first up this week in meetings, we have our junior high basketball meeting for parents and students at on Tuesday at 6 p.m. That will be in the multi-purpose room. Also happening on Tuesday is our regular October school board meeting. That'll be at 7 p.m. in the high school library. Come out and join us for our meetings. All right, so it's another Panther Paw update for this week, and we also have an Alphabet Excellence Award. Congratulations to Cassius Hogsett for his Panther Paw Award. Congratulations to Percy Jackson on his Panther Paw as well. And then also congratulations to Adrielle Platt for her Alphabet Excellence Award. All right, now this week in sports, Monday's a weird one. It's part due of high school football at Big Sandy. The team will be completing their second half of their game that was postponed on Friday due to a power outage in Big Sandy. They'll be departing at 2.30 in the afternoon. On Thursday, we've got high school volleyball versus Power Dutton Brady at 6 p.m. at home. That'll be Dig Pink Night. Concessions will be the skills group. On Friday, we've got junior high and high school football versus Sunburst. It is senior night, and those games will be at 4 and 7 p.m. respectively. Concessions on Friday will be the juniors. And on Saturday, we've got our junior high volleyball tournament that'll be happening all day. Concessions on Saturday will be run by the senior class. Now let's get a look at the rest of the week. So on Monday, it's a busy day. We've got student count day for the state of Montana. We also have our regular eligibility check for all athletes, 5th through 12th grade. We have tutoring after school from 3.40 to 4.30, and then high school football at Big Sandy. Lunch on Monday will be Sloppy Joe's. On Tuesday, FFA is heading to Conrad. They'll be departing at 8.15. We have tutoring from 3.40 to 4.30 in the high school library. We have our junior high basketball parent and athlete meeting in the NPR at 6 p.m. We also have our school board meeting at 7 p.m. in the high school library. Lunch on Tuesday will be chicken and rice soup. On Wednesday, it's a big day. It's fall picture day for all students and student athletes. That'll be happening in the multi-purpose room all day. We have our K through 7th grade 4-H presentation. That'll be at 9 a.m. in the elementary library. We also have Lori Grossfield coming to present her story hour for our kindergartners through third graders. That'll be happening at 11 a.m. We also have an earthquake drill and tutoring from 3.40 to 4.30 p.m. Lunch on Wednesday will be biscuits and gravy. On Thursday, it's High School Volleyball versus Power Dutton Brady at 6 p.m. We also have the Techno Expo for all freshmen and some other high school students who would like to participate. That'll, they'll be departing school at 5.30 a.m. We also have tutoring from 3.40 to 4.30. Lunch on Thursday will be Taco Soup. On Friday, it's our big senior night for junior high and high school football versus Sunburst. Games at 4 and 7 p.m. respectively. Lunch on Friday will be ham hoagies, and then on Saturday, it's the all-day junior high volleyball tournament. Concessions will be run by the senior class. If you have any questions for enrollment and paperwork, please contact your building office. If you have any out-of-district paperwork you would like to submit in time for our school board meeting, that is due on Monday, October 7th. For any athletics questions, please contact A.D. Danny Farnstrom. And for any general school questions, please contact me, Superintendent Joshua Reed, and my number is right there for you. Call or text anytime. We hope you have a great week and a great Sunday here. And as always, go Panthers.